All right, people, welcome to episode something, 10 million, Road to Natural Pro, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Full day of eating today. Uh, yesterday, I just had my checking with my coach, and he increased my food a little bit, so I thought it would be a good time, because it's been a while to do a updated full day of eating in this growing phase. Uh, I can find the exact calories, but my calories are getting higher. Um, on training days, it's about 3,000. A little bit over, I think. And on rest days, it's about 28, a little bit over, 2,800. Um, I can throw like full macros on the screen too as, um, as well for reference. But so first meal is, here, I'll show you. First meal is four eggs, English muffin, 100 grams of raspberries, and a banana. Also throwing the sugar-free G Hughes ketchup on the eggs. Ketchup on eggs is very good. It's good. Do not knock it till you try it. But overall, things are going well. I'm gonna start eating this. Um, parents left for Florida, so I have the house to myself, which is definitely an interesting development. Um, I think it'll help me make some more content. And it's sad that they're gone, but I think I just feel more comfortable when I'm on my own making content, and that's fine. But um, so the bulk so far, uh, like during uh, during my times of like check-ins. I'm up about, eh, let's see, yesterday's checking out was like 189, I was probably, I probably up about five pounds, and I don't think all that is just like fat that I put on, or like a small amount of muscle, or anything like that, it's really just, A, having more food in my stomach at a time, where when I weigh in, there's stuff that just hasn't digested yet, there's more food, so that's gonna be, make me heavier, um, and then eating more food, more car carbs, I'm holding more water, so that five pounds, oh, it's only been a few weeks, isn't really like like tissue that I put on, either fat or muscle. Like it is just from holding more water, having more food in my system. So that's at a pretty good rate. I'd say normally, like once this kind of evens out, the goal should be to gain about a pound a week. Um, but I see a lot of people all the time be come from like being really skinny or like off of a cut and then they gain like 30 pounds or something like over time, either fast or short. And they're like, yeah. So after I did that, I bulked up 30 pounds and I put on 30 pounds of muscle, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, that is not 30 pounds of muscle. Like obviously everyone's different, but like as a natural lifter, like realistically, if you put on 30 pounds and you do everything perfect and you're gaining like a couple pounds a week, that's like, what you could hope for in like a year is to put on like five to six pounds of muscle as a natural. And that looks like a massive change. Like, don't get me wrong. Like that is a lot of gain. Like that is really good for a natural. And you will look completely different with five pounds of muscle. But almost all of that is fat. Not almost all of it. Like 25 of the 30 pounds is fat. Or when you see people gain 30 pounds in a couple months and they're like, yeah, I put on 30 pounds of muscle. No, you did not. Like when I bulked, uh, my last bulk, I went from like 180 to 215. And then like as proof of this, as that isn't 35 pounds of muscle and a lot of it is fat. When I cut back down, I got down to like 184, but I was like the same amount of leanness. So really I gained probably, especially because I was coming off of knee surgery or my like quad probably atrophied, I probably gained like four pounds of muscle. You know what I'm saying? Like it wasn't like all of a sudden then I got lean and I was, you know, 205 and I gained 25 pounds of muscle. Like, no, that's not how that works. But I'm gonna eat this. There's my little spiel. And then I will show you meal two, peace. All right, so I'm not eating it right now, but I just cooked meal two, here it is. So I made my daily lava cake, this is my pre-workout meal. It is day, day 344 making this thing every single day. So, ingredients, 45 grams of cream of wheat, dash of salt, sugar-free maple syrup, I kinda, it's not many calories, so I kinda just eyeball that. Two scoops of PC, PE Science Protein Powder, my favorite protein brand. 16 grams of peanut butter, one egg, half a banana, 50 grams. Comes out looking like this. It looks almost different every single time, I feel like, based on how much water I put in there. Forgot, you add water to it, you mix it all up, and then you put it in the microwave for a minute and 30 seconds. Comes out like that. 
I'll check back in with you when I eat it, but I like to mix it up. Sometimes I mix the peanut butter in, sometimes I mix everything else in, and then I put the peanut butter on top and let it melt. So it's just one like dollop in the middle. Sometimes I eat it warm, and sometimes I eat it cold. So I'm gonna eat it cold today, so I'm gonna put it in the fridge here. Look at that. Boom. And in like an hour, I'll eat it. Uh, for some reason, it, I really like it cold. It's kind of like a cheesecake type of consistency. I don't know. I like mixing it up every day. I mix up the protein flavors. I mix up how I put the peanut butter in. I mix up if I have more water in it, make it more mushy, less water, make it more cakey, uh, sometimes hot, sometimes cold. So check back in when I eat that. All right, so just took a shower. Now it is time for the pre-workout meal. We just went over my lava cake. Here we go. Nice and cold, nice and ready to go. I'm gonna eat this and then we got legs today. Yeah, see what gym I'm going to. I don't really know yet, but I'm gonna eat this. Then wait probably like 45 minutes, 40 minutes. Take my pre-workout, head to the gym. Let's do it. All right, time for a pre-workout. I'm gonna mix this up using Echo Vision Outcast um, for the pre-workout. Funny thing, actually, I think I technically still have a code for Echo Vision. Not that they ever reached out to me or anything like that. There was a period of time, I don't know if they still do it, where, like, you could just sign up to get a code. So, anytime, like, I buy Echo Vision products, it says, like, oh, new referral code, like, commission made. And I, like, I, I'm not sure if this is how it works. But it might work where like, you know, I get the like 10% off or whatever it is. And then like that commission also goes to me. Um, so I think they canceled that now. Like they're not allowing people to just randomly sign up anymore. And I think they deactivated a lot of codes. And I just kind of assumed they would deactivate mine because I never like made any sales from other people. But I think it's still active because whenever I buy their products, I like get an email that says like no like referral made like commission eleven dollars. So I don't really know what's going on there, but I want to say I made it code Tim. Uh, if anyone buys any Echo products soon, try to use code Tim. It might actually work. But I'm gonna take some pump caps too. I think I'm just gonna go to LA Fitness today, and like I said, it likes. All right, on our way to the gym. Just gonna go to LA Fitness today. That's kind of what I'm feeling. Just kind of chilling there. I'll get a few clips just like propping my phone up with my water bottle or something. No one ever really cares. Um, so I'll just get a few clips like that. Maybe I'll do a voiceover again. We'll see. Um, but if you guys are actually paying attention to these videos, you'll notice that uh, I pretty much do the same exercises every single time. Like I have my push day, my pull day, my leg day, my upper body day, and my lower body day. And whenever I say like, oh, I'm doing a push day today, it's the same exercises every time, almost entirely. And you might think that this is dumb. You might be like, oh, like how are you ever gonna like grow and progressively overload if you just do the same exercises every time? Like, don't you need to switch it up? Don't you need to shock the muscle, all that? That is, <clears throat> in my opinion, a, not the correct way to think about it. In my opinion, I think it's much more beneficial to stick to the same exercises for long periods of time. And there's no real reason to change it if they're the best for you. And then just get really, really good at those movements. You have to make sure now that throughout your split, you're hitting everything as much as you like to hit it in the correct way. And then I think over time, like you should just spend weeks and weeks and months and years perfecting those movements and just adding weight over time and getting stronger in those movements. Because if I were to, you know, do dumbbell bench for two weeks and then two weeks to switch it to flat bench and then switch it to only decline bench and then only incline bench dumbbells or something like that just switching that way too often I would never become extremely proficient in one and never be able to just completely progressively overload over and over and over again like if you notice if you always let's say barbell bench and then you go over to dumbbells for a while 
like let's say like a month or two the first like week back of flat benching like barbell benching it feels really weird and you're weaker than you were before just because your muscles aren't used to progressing on that lift and you're, you've gotten out of that routine that's a lot of like you know like getting stronger in these certain exercises just doing the same ones but what the point i'm getting at is it's not smart to change your routine super often because then it prevents you from really progressing in each exercise to the fullest so that's why that's why i pretty much do the same lifts every single time the same exercises that i have all these lifts so today that means we're gonna warm up we're gonna do leg extensions like we always do we're gonna do adductors like we always do and then I'm going to do the leg press like I always do on this day. And then I'm going to do hamstring curls like I always do. And calves. And that will be the whole workout. Um, I do, I'm do. i supposed to be incorporating hip thrusts here. Um, I do need to work on that. That is one thing I often tend to skip. I feel like my glutes are overdeveloped compared to my quads right now anyway. And this gym doesn't have a glute machine Maybe that's an excuse, maybe it's not, but the other gym that I normally go to is getting one, a glute bridge machine, so I will be using that much more often. But that will be added in at some point. I'm going to finish my pre-workout, and I will see you in there. And then we're going to go on with the, uh, the rest of the full day of eating. Let's do it.
por lo menos se queda. Right, just finished the workout pretty good leg day honestly I saw someone else filming in there with a big-ass camera like someone like following them around and then I was like you know this guy's walking around here he's like the same age as me it looked like walking around in here a big-ass camera and doesn't have a care in the world like why do I care so much you know people probably look at him and be like oh look at this weirdo they probably look at me they probably see me and go look at this weirdo and I have the audacity to like then like put my camera away and feel awkward like come on Come on. That was good for me to see. But I had a good workout, I think. Um, had a really good pump, honestly, in my legs, which is... Uh, I felt like I, like, have been really messing around with these machines in terms of, like, how far to put the seat back, where I should be sitting on it, how I should position myself. I feel like you always have to do that when you use, like, a new gym, new machines and everything like that. And I feel like I just absolutely nailed it today. Like, my range of motion was perfect on everything. So, honestly, really help, uh, happy with that. I'm going to head home have my post-workout meal, which will be meal three, which uh, is going to be 240 grams jasmine rice, five ounces of ground beef with some barbecue, sugar-free barbecue, barbecue sauce on there. I always use G Hughes. Um, might use like Polynesian sauce or something, but same thing, G Hughes. And then half a banana or 50 grams of banana. So I will show you a clip of that. That is going to be meal three. But post-workout, I've gone over this before, but you definitely want a lot of carbs to restore your glycogen stores and then some protein to get that activating. So I'm going to head home. I'm only a couple minutes away. The gym's really close, so I will catch up with you later. Peace. All right, here we go. Post-workout meal. I got my 240 grams of rice, my five ounces of ground beef with my G. Hughes Polynesian sauce, and then right here, have a banana. So lots of carbs, some protein, a little bit of fat in the, in the meat, but uh, that's a post-workout meal. My number one tip for this type of stuff, this took me literally three seconds to make because I, I cook in bulk. I cook a lot of ground beef at one time, so it's always in the fridge whenever I need it. Boom, five ounces of ground beef. I don't have to take 20 minutes to do it. I have a meeting in like 10, 15 minutes. I got to eat this fast. If I had to cook this, I wouldn't have time. Same thing goes for my rice. I cook massive batches in it in my rice cooker and then boom, ready to go. Throw it on my handy dandy food scale, ready to feast. Hell yeah. All right, so we're back. I just got back from McQuay, which is my old high school where I'm the strength and conditioning coach there. Pretty cool how my entire job revolves around the gym now between being the strength and conditioning coach, working in the weight room at a high school and then working at another gym and then training clients online. But uh, next meal is uh, 107 grams of lettuce, so the whole bag of lettuce, 150 grams of rice. That's a change for this week. I get uh, 50 grams of rice added to this meal. Love it. 50 grams avocado. I just use a guacamole packet. And then I put the G Hughes sugar-free Polynesian sauce on it uh, and six ounces of chicken. I think I forgot to say that. But... I use a whole bag of lettuce because I like having really high volume meals at this point because I still get like hungry. I'm not going to lie. I think my appetite is just fucked. But this is what it looks like. Massive bowl here. Going to eat this whole thing. Uh, definitely one of my favorite meals of the day. Uh, it's definitely a lot of food, which makes me feel good and full. 
So uh, this is the fourth meal of the day, and we got one more after this. So pretty much done with the work day, and I'll catch up with you later. All right, people, it is time for my last meal. It is 7.30, last meal of the day. You always want to have, uh, in my opinion, you always want to have a lot of protein as uh, within your last meal of the day. Because think about it, I'm going to go upstairs, probably chill out for a little bit, and then go to sleep for, you know, eight hours. That's a long time to go without protein to have your body digest, synthesize, and help grow your muscles. So definitely going to do that. So I have seven ounces of ground beef in here, 150 grams of jasmine rice. That was another thing that got added to my uh, meal plan for this week. And then once again, the full bag of lettuce right here. Um... That's really just to make this meal bigger. I have an insane, I don't know, appetite and drive to eat food. So I like to have very big, voluminous meals. But the whole bag of lettuce is literally 20 calories. So it's not like I'm going crazy here, you know. But uh, yeah, so this is meal five. This is the last meal of the day. Definitely a good one. Uh, as you can see, it's all very clean foods and that can help you eat a lot. Some people probably think this is an absolutely insane amount of food. Um, I've kind of gotten very, very used to it, but, uh, you can eat a lot of food when it's all whole healthy food. Like it's not very calorically dense. None of these meals are like crazy amounts of calories, you know? So that is it for the day. And that's where I'm going to leave you off in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment, subscribe. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Happy hunting. Peace.